before we you know start with the basic, we're just going to show you a small video. Uh, bits and clips from our school, just to give you a maybe uh, some yeah. of seen it before. Yeah, it's like a cut version of yeah. a longer video we have at the other conference. I don't know if you have ever been to a workshop with Hepa before. No. Yes. You have. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I always come to your work. You always come. Yeah. In Berlin, yeah, really in Berlin, and, 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 and oh. last year also. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. What about yeah, the hate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're both Montessori teachers. Yes. And we teach. I teach Norwegian and French, and mostly. Uh, I do marketing and entrepreneurship. And we work in a school, uh, upper secondary school, so it's uh, for students between 16 and 19. Yeah. Okay, so just mm -hmm. show them. We start with the video. It's just a small, yeah. as long as the one in Berlin. <laughs> <laughs> so we thought, you know, this year we have to tell more about the school, how, the structure, how we, how we do it. So this was, you know, the plan this year because we felt we had this idea and we have got all these other questions. So based on all the questions we got in Hague, we uh, decided to, you know, present more, you know, just based on what do we do? How do we do it? And because the theme of the conference is classroom practice, we, uh, we are going to talk about how we, how we support individual growth through the uh, Montessori principles in our school. Um, so, yeah, probably know now the name of the school. <laughs> <laughs> and we were supposed to have our principal with us, but she's, uh, she, she's not here. She could not be able to make it, so uh, just the two of us. It's the two of us, <laughs> <laughs> once again. <laughs> okay. But we enjoy it, so it's yeah. good. Um, yeah, so we'll start with some basic facts. We're quite new school. We've just been for like five years. We founded in 2013. A lot of uh, Montessori uh, people think it's so strange that we started with 15 years old. And I and I agree and I understand, you know, the the question about it because we we you know our children, well, our students, they're not children. They are not Montessori children. When they start in our schools, they're 15 and they're being to regular schools for their whole their whole lives. Um, we wish we could, we, we could be more with our structure, but now we can have 120 students because of the state's regulation. We're not allowed to have more than 120 students. And that's a, that's a small school. And we are about 12 teachers. Um, yeah. Yeah, and we, we are uh, Montessori High School, but as we can see, we uh, have these regulations uh, from the state. Uh, when it comes to which uh, specific subjects we have to uh, teach, uh, we have exams that we will look uh, into, but uh, we take the Montessori principles, such as uh, freedom, responsibility, uh, choice, uh, um, yeah, <laughs> and we, we organize the school according to these to help the adolescents to learn in what we think is a, is a better way than, than uh, in the normal <laughs> public school. Yeah. And it's different in a way you have different uh, high schools, but mm -hmm. our school is pre preparation for university. All our students, mm -hmm. uh, it, that's their goal, they're, they're aiming for university. So we don't need to you know, think about are you going to do like a practical life, you know, all our students are aiming for university. They need to get all their, their exams. They need to get good points to get into their in the study they want to get into because there's a really high, in Norway, almost everybody goes to university. It's like, um, it, it's almost too much. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. like, yeah, it's a country everyone, everyone in, yeah. that chooses that. that our school? Yeah, our school. school. So we have to focus on that, you know, how to make, how for you, to 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 you know thrive and have fun, but at the same time reach your goal and have high grades and get your points, so you get you know where you want to go. And so student. this like mixes with the Montessori theory, but that's our that's that's what we have to you know yeah that's what we're yeah and that's, so that's what we do. So we're very interested in in teaching the the students how to how to be. 
take responsibility for their own studies because in in other public schools they they are does not have much freedom uh, almost at all so so we, we have an organization as we can see on the timetable uh, which allows us to give the, the students a lot of choices um, and when it comes to, to founding not, maybe not that important but we we have a tuition fee because we are only founded by the state with 85 percent uh, so we have tuition, tuition fees but that's uh, that's how, that's how it is uh, in uh, in Norway, we don't have public Montessori schools. No. So no. May I ask you, how much is it in, in Norwegian crowns or in euros so per yeah, month the, for the, the parents? Yeah, yes. it's 200 uh, About euros. About 200 euros a yeah. month. Yeah. 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 Is that a lot? No. Well, yeah. may I, from, it's my perspective. Um, uh, education in the Netherlands is free. Um, and there is an, there's a... F uh, uh, there's a fee for parents, but it's not um, uh, obliged. Yeah. No. Uh, so uh, you 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 may be able to pay it, but if you don't, it's fine. Um, yeah. All the schools in Norway, the yeah. state school is free. Yeah, but but this is uh, just public schools. Uh, there are almost no private, private schools in the Netherlands. That, no. That's that's maybe two or three percent of the schools. Yeah. So yeah, all no. all Montessori education is public. Yeah, yeah in yes. Norway. We're hoping yeah. to get to get more funded from the government. Yeah, we, sure. We we show, as we can see, also later, good results. We're as a as a private school, we contribute in a positive way to schools in Norway. So we yeah, try course, to use that too. You don't you don't want um, Montessori uh, schooling only for the rich. No, um, no. But uh, luckily, uh, two hundred euros a month is in Norway not just for the rich. We have also people. Well, students, which is not from rich families, mm -hmm. it's all it's all there. It's the the whole range. All right. Luckily, yeah. yeah that's welcome. because it's a lot of people in our money has a lot of money. So, two hundred euros, uh, quite a lot of family can pay. So luckily, uh, we're not that expensive, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. But we wish yeah. we could. We wish it could be for free. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, and uh, and yeah, we'll we'll also talk about the national standard curriculum as as these are our uh, requirements that we have to plan uh, through. So this is just a, some information about uh, how it's organized uh, from. The national standards we have in the upper secondary school we have three uh, levels. This is the first grade, second grade, and the third grade. So when they come the first year, they have a lot of common core subjects. Uh, subjects. They choose a second foreign language, so they can choose uh, French, German, or Spanish. Um, and here in this in the second uh, class, they choose direction. It's like this in in all these types of schools in Norway. Um, they choose uh, natural science or social studies. Um, and the same, they, they follow that path through the third year. And they have some common core subjects as well, such as Norwegian and history that they have uh, all three years. But I think the good part here is that in the first year, when we, when we get them and they're not used to the Montessori, they have, they have all, like almost everything is the same. So we have the possibility to, you know, to work uh, with a lot of uh, subject at the same yeah. time. We can because they have, they have, they're, it's the same for everybody, and it's so much easier for us to, you know, teach them how to be independent. We teach them how to collaborate. Teach them how to because mm -hmm. it's uh, so. It's a good start yeah. for right. us that they have all the same language from the first year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, not language subjects. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A couple of questions. So yeah, there, of course. Uh, so you have uh, 16, 17, 19, turning 19, so three years, right? Yeah. No, four. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you started um, all at once, or because no. you already have now, they were growing, right? We're yeah. starting with, okay. uh, uh, yeah, VG1. Okay. Yeah. VG1. And we were like about uh, 30 students. Yeah. 30 years. Okay. So I think it's the third year now we have had like all the classes. All the classes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, concerning the exams, they, it's, 
the system is that in, in the first grade, it's 10% of the class is drawn to either a written or oral exam. Um, so the students think that's a bit unfair. <laughs> and in the second year, they have one exam, either written or oral. And in the last year, they have three written exams and one oral exam. Uh, and the written exams, it's the same for everyone having this subject in all of Norway. Uh, and the oral exam is, is made by uh, the teacher. We have a lot of regulations that uh, decides what we, how we do it and, and what, what is the, the structure, structure and how yeah. to do it and what, what do you call it? You have to say that. Curriculum. Curriculum. Yeah, it's a horrible <laughs> word. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so it's not an external exam. It's not external, but you have external person who yeah. used the grade. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm, you know, the teacher, I, I ask them and we have the conversation and I prepare them, but there's an external person there and, she, and he, he or she is giving the grade. I cannot influence that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it also so for the public schools that the presentation mm -hmm. yeah, comes from an external authority or so, not yeah. from the school? Uh -huh. oh, like not if you, if you right. work on week, I have to do everything, you know, to manage my goals. If you're strong, okay, I'll just do the things I really have to do. So you, you um, I think they feel that they, you know, I'm in power, I'm, I can be in charge of what I'm going to, you know, focus on. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, well, this is what we're going to talk about, so. So, we have a very flexible timetable, which allows us, allows the students to, uh, to study the subjects they want. And as Carmen also said, they, they can choose the subjects they need to work on, but they can all, all, also choose the subjects they want to work on. So some students that are really doing everything and they are very advanced, they can also work more in subjects that they are especially interested in. So um, it applies to, to both, to all types of students. Yes. Is it possible to be more specific about the like uh, work cycle? What does it mean in your? Yeah. Do you have a couple of timetables? Yeah, yeah, it comes. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. No problem. Yeah, always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 that's very good. But if you just to you know how it is in uh, public schools. In public school, you have like yeah, we can show it. You start up in the morning. You have a classes like maybe forty-five yeah. minutes. You have five minutes break, and it's a new subject. <laughs> So if this was a normal school, it would be like full. Yes. If you have different, you know, all the time, and you you'd yeah. work afterwards. So it's all full with uh, subjects, and you yeah. go from mm -hmm. place to place, and you're like on your well, you're different places all the time, and you have like five till ten minutes to switch, and there's a new subject. Yeah. You, you know, and they're just yeah. the teacher is just filling you know all day long. It's always always the. Uh, between 60 and, and 90 minutes. A lot of classes are up to 90 minutes, but here we, we choose to have a lot of, of uh, we call it seminars, or we can call it presentations. They are 45 minutes. So they, so for example, in, in Norwegian, this is my seminar, Victoria, without an A. <laughs> um, in a usual, uh, usual or a normal public school, this, this is a timetable for a, a student in the first class. They have five hour, hours Norwegian, but I have 45 minutes. So we take 45 minutes of Norwegian, like presentation of topics, small discussions, uh, some materials, but then the rest of these hours is put into the work cycles. So we take hours from, from all the subjects and uh, so they have less teacher-led classes. But then, for example, here, this student, this is a timetable for one student. Uh, she or he has different uh, seminars, but then these uh, large uh, periods here are the work cycles. Mm -hmm. So that's when they can choose what they work on. This is an individual timetable. Yeah, yeah. So but it's the same for, like, uh, here it says Norwegian Ibsen. It's a it's a group. So they have some groups, and they, they have to attend yeah. these yeah. these classes. These classes. Yeah. yeah. This is a, yeah, all right. So you you're always you're in, inside a group, but mm -hmm. uh, different groups 
uh, have different timetables, right? We could yeah. show you also so, the, the timetable of the whole school. Well, I, I'm, I'm also carriage. interested, I understand that there's a system behind this and you can, you can manage it in some way, but how do you, um, who assesses uh, at which levels a student uh, um, is and, and how do you manage those different like learning pathways? It's, uh, yeah, we, yeah we, if you mean uh, where the student is yeah. in, the, in the level, in how, 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 yeah. how motivated, how... Do you write tests or so? Or yeah, they, they no, well, they, when they start in the, when they start marks, in, yeah, yeah. They start in the first year, we, we do tests in math, English and Norwegian. Yeah, to assess the level of the yeah. student. So, so some, some students, they only need uh, 15 or, or half an hour math. Mm -hmm. In a week, and another student much mm -hmm. more. Mm -hmm. yeah. But so we regulate it in the work cycle. So, so this is the minimum. It's amount. the baseline. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the baseline for everyone. How strong? Yeah. Even you know, if you're very good or very weak, that yeah. th th those hours is for everybody. Yeah, and then in the afternoon, yeah. there's the, uh, the, the 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 work hours. Yeah, and then you guide and coach yeah. the yeah. students, and that really is the individual part. Yeah. But how do you how do you um, and manage all those different um, uh, students. Well, uh, we can we can talk about how we how we manage these yeah. these times. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. since I have uh, since in my my subject is also five hours, so I have a lot of time available. So I'm sitting with students, and the students know which time I I'm, I'm a guy. I will. What do you call that? A guy. Yeah. 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 Which room yeah. I'm in and which. You know the time. So yeah. in, in the timetable it says Camilla is in red room Tuesday. She's in blue room in Wednesday. Yeah. She's in. They can find so they you. Always yeah. know where I am. Yeah. And you you invite them or they come to you. Or they both. both. Yeah, both. If yeah. I have a really yeah. weak like uh, student who is not coming to me and I feel you know I have to of course I. But also there are students who love to you know stay on their own. Yeah, of course. So you have yeah. to. It's not. It's not. It's not like. When but I, I, I really, I, I try this, but um, um, I often fail because I have about 25 um, uh, students. Um, so if I try to talk to them, um, maybe I can talk to them twice in, in six weeks and oh. that's not very often. No, I talk to like half. In a week I talk to everybody. Yeah. Yeah. No, like yeah. everybody for 120 students. Oh no, my <laughs> students. I have like how, how many of them? Uh, I have like uh, 20 in marketing two. I have about 25 in marketing two, and I have about 16 in entrepreneurship. You meet all of them. So yeah, and I have the time to meet with all. But the, um, is is there also like a coach uh, for personal development, learning skills? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. 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 This so, one. Do you see here. This morning, every Monday, there's a Monday morning meeting in 45 minutes mm -hmm. when you meet your coach. Yeah. So every student so. has a coach. Yeah. And that's also like uh, each coach, like the tourist group, is like from the first to second and the third level. So they are mixed. So in, in the mental, well, in that coach group, they are mixed. And in, in those morning meetings, they watch, you know, they plan their week. They watch the timetable. They see, okay, what kind of subjects do I need to focus on? What do I need? And they are making this plan and showing it to the coach, you know, and they're yeah. collaborating. Yeah. And yeah. And we can also see if, if we see that because when when we are uh, our guides, often we have a, a long period of, of time when we are guides, and we the, the students they work for themselves. So we go around. If someone needs help, they can ask. Uh, but if, if we see that there are there are students that are not multi motivated or or doing other things, we can we can we can see what they have planned for that session, and we can talk to them about it and see say like now you have actually on your plan you have you have math that's your plan why aren't you doing that? <laughs> so we we all we always walk around and we, we talk to them. So so that that's how we we got to to. Uh, to be close to, to our students. I think that's, that's working. But. And how many students is, are on the morning group? How many it's, students uh, do you It's between, I have, we, we are seven, the 120 are divided to seven, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, seven groups. Yeah, seven seven groups. groups. 
So it's between 15 and, and 20 students. It depends a little bit. But, uh, I mean, on average, you have 120 students and uh, 12 teachers or so? Yeah, but so not everyone. Uh, everyone. I'm not a mentor. Is in yeah. charge of, yeah? Yeah, not everyone is a mentor. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. so, so that's what we call like this contact. Yeah, yeah. mentor. Yeah, yeah. 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 For, for mentor. Yeah. Around fifty-six children. Yeah, uh, like twenty, twenty-five, fifteen, sixteen. Yeah. That's, that's so, not yeah. yeah. So, and um, you dedicate probably half an hour weekly at least. I meet like with the marketing one. Yeah. That's like second grade students. Also I meet them twice, uh, 40, 45 minutes, two times. All of them on the same time. Yeah. So. But at the, when they're twenty five, I just I decided to meet all of them, and then I divide them into small two smaller groups, mm -hmm. so I can get closer to them. Mm -hmm. And in the group with fifteen, I meet them twice, forty five minutes, and I have a lot of time with them during the week. Mm -hmm. And finally, you meet each of them to try to plan and follow up. And uh, that is, is in the work cycles. Yeah. Yes, with, within the work cycles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. But not every week, like students, there are some students also that are, I don't want to say, they're not, they're not shy, but they are really self, mm -hmm. uh, self they are really self uh, going. They are really, you know, but others are not, and I have to, of course, use. Mm -hmm more energy on them, yeah. but I don't, well, the students, I don't, it, they don't, they don't tell us that they think that's wrong. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think it's nice that they, you know, can do their thing. And the structure in our school, we have large uh, working rooms where they, where they stay during this time. And uh, there are, of course, these guides, but also the learning on all the teacher room is always open. So the students can also uh, always come and talk to us. So if, if, if we're not, <laughs> like on, we're not. It's not my time here. The student can still s come by the, my office and yeah. just ask a question. So, and yeah. and that happens all the time. Yeah, we're, so, we're with the students all the time. Even yeah. though we're not in a place, yeah. Even though we're in our workspace, the students will come because we have one big workspace for all the teachers. Mm. So it's only one room with all the teachers. So, okay. you, so you don't need to you don't yeah. need to watch into different rooms. It's just one place, and it's in the middle of everything. Yeah. And the door is always open, and you know. It's mm -hmm. Did you plan or did you design the space before knowing? Because I'm not sure if you were you're working exactly the same as five years ago, six years ago when you started. We started off in a smaller location. Yeah. Because uh, our owner had also uh, runs a regular school, mm -hmm. but he, he thought you know I want to do a Montessori school, so he decided to start this one. So we, we, they, we started up in their um, at, at, uh, well, what can I say? Uh, rooms in their area. Mm -hmm. And when we got bigger and you know, got older, we, we changed the place. Yeah. At that point you were already working this, this way. So yeah. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, the, so it's small rooms for, for the presentations yeah. mm -hmm. and it's like big rooms for work cycles. So they go to presentation and back to, you know, the... Mm -hmm. Mm. <coughs> um, the, uh, after the um, after the lessons and the, the mm -hmm. students, uh, so after three o'clock, yeah. um, what what happens then? Uh, is there is there is there room for personal development for teachers? Is there a team meeting? Or? Well, yeah, we have here we, uh, this Wednesday. Yeah. Oh, it's Wednesday. Here, the, the teachers yeah. have a meeting, and the students they can they can stay. We have. Uh, well, actually, on Wednesdays when they, they the school is a bit shorter, they have the possibility to stay at school with a tutor. We just have a person. <laughs> with yeah, we have like a yeah. science tutor because it's always need in math or in physics or chemistry. Yeah. So there's always a person on Wednesdays for two hours when we have our meeting. The teacher has a meeting every Wednesday from two till four. So the students can stay and work with guidance yeah. for those two hours. Is your school tailored mostly towards academic studies, or do you have also the extra component of like farm work or mm -hmm. construction work? It's or really towards towards university. It's yeah. really yeah. Yeah, tailored towards university. And how have you found over the last five years that your results or the results have helped work compared to other? Schools. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's, it's national. Okay, yeah, it's national. <laughs> yeah, it's national. Okay. They, the the states takes well, they test us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we also have 
like we can see, we can see under sun on the results and okay. and everything. We can always always analyze mm -hmm. how the school is doing. Right. Yeah. Right, right, right. Do you have uh, so there are no art classes or no or no nothing, nothing like, like that. It's physical education. Yeah, that's it's they have. And no art, no music. No yeah. art, no music. <laughs> but but there are in Norway there are schools that that uh, is um, specialized in this. But they have to choose music or they have to choose the. And you choose or like yeah, music yeah. line or choose yeah, the yeah. art line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So this is specific for um, the students that go to your high school, they go to college yeah. or engineering, yeah, university. Yeah. 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 Or a nursery or yeah. Okay. yeah. And all kinds of No, sorry. And which subjects would you say that your school is preparing them for? Like you said that you do marketing and you do languages. So is it more tailored towards businesses, a business or economics or no, they can choose like natural sciences or social studies in the okay. second year. So they we also have chemistry, biology, okay. physics. Okay. So they all can the yeah. So okay. uh, they are prepared for er, er, any study in the university or other institutions okay. like that. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any entrance exams? Do we have like entrance exams that they want to attend your school if they have to pass some exam to? No, but the is state exams is the same for the whole country. No, no, no. no. <laughs> at, at the end, the school. entering the school. Yeah. Oh no, it's just grades. Yeah, it's, it's grades. a level. You have to have. Like it, de it depends on how many uh, places we have, how many applicants. Mm -hmm. So this year we had 180 applicants on 30 places. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> the the level then you need high grades to get in. But when we started, it wasn't like no, this. we had like so it's really different. different. We don't feel that this is a system for like the. Most no, students. it's just because the state doesn't give me, give us more space. They, yeah. don't, they uh -huh. don't give us room for more than 120 mm -hmm. uh, people mm -hmm. since we're private because they they protect the public schools. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it's a competition. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I, I'm now wondering uh, in the public schools in Norway, do they offer? Uh, courses in, in arts and in music. Or? Yeah, and, and if you if you you are really into art. You, you choose the art line in yeah. a way, and you get like you can still get into university. Yeah. Because, like, it's yeah. one. Yes, because uh, the subjects you're offering is exactly the same as in public school, right? Yeah. So uh, um, senior high school, public school yeah. uh, doesn't have art or music no. either. Uh -huh. Only if you choose that. Okay. With, because you with have respect to a holistic approach to development of, yeah. of uh, I think it is very important. So yeah. we have now in, in Germany the discussion that the, the government wants to cut a little bit, for example, yeah. mm -hmm. the, the number of, of hours for, for arts or for music. Mm -hmm. And there is a great protest uh, ah. immediately against mm -hmm. this, since we, we believe that you can not only um, be, a, for example, a good scientists uh, when you are only good in mathematics yeah. since uh, in the end in the science you need creativity for example and this comes from the art so but we would we would like to to mm. do that but it's it's the requirements that makes that uh, how do you say it? it's like gives us boundaries yeah so it's that we do things for example on fridays we have these workshops um, where the students choose what they want to attend so uh, the teachers they put up uh, like different uh, types of workshops so we have one teacher she, she usually puts up knitting so you can go there and you can do knitting or uh, there are some uh, external yeah external uh, like things we can provide yeah. you know we get it from outside yeah. to give them and during your workshops I, I really agree <coughs> with what you're saying let's say you have a student who's interested in engineering or architecture. Yeah. You know, they're lacking, it seems, if they don't have access to these art courses. Yeah. Um, so maybe, it, do you have a loophole yeah. that you could kind of get around and uh, bring in our, some yeah, artists or bring in some engineers to help out in these workshops, yeah. Yeah. maybe from university, and not only for the subjects of art, 
but also just university professors in general. Yeah. Let's say if your physics teacher uh, has a certain level of knowledge, but he has a student whose level goes above his. Yeah. Do you have these external yeah. connections yeah. connected in university that are there to help you? Yeah. Okay. That's exactly why we have the workshops okay. to be able to do to do that. I see. And we also have like last year we yeah. had this helper project that was our workshop uh, because they can choose a project project if they're interested in and that could be anything it could be cool. uh, like to uh, to do something by art like yeah music or, or the charity or or volunteer, volunteer yeah. work or so, if you want to you know uh, study architecture you know if you right. just want to go into another subject you can use that and you can then you can use all if you have time you know mm -hmm. you can use from work mm -hmm. cycles you can do from another workshop mm -hmm. to really uh, mm -hmm. in your own right yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so you you are uh, because it's the state boundaries yeah. that makes this difficult yeah. in all senior high schools in yeah. Norway, but in uh, elementary school and junior high, yeah. uh, you have music and art and yeah. everything. Yeah. Uh, but the government in Norway also want to cut down that. Yeah. But you have, especially in art, you have uh, lots of hours. Yeah. Until you get to this level. Yeah. So, I think you, with the workshops and yeah. and your project, yeah, you are able to do more yeah. about this than uh, than a public school yeah. in Norway. Mm -hmm. I don't know who's first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you, you, and then you. <laughs> All right, you first. <laughs> uh, so I wanted to ask uh, the participation in the workshops on Friday yeah. afternoon. afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> is timing is it mandatory or yeah. not? Or? They have to. We have a okay. we have a large uh, um, wall where we put up different alternatives. So everyone has to be on okay. some workshops. Yeah, but so, they can, you know, they pick and choose. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, why do I? They are obliged to go to school. I mean, the, the people tend to go to the fiel, for example, on Friday evening or yeah. Friday <laughs> afternoon. They can go at 14.45. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, what's very cool about it is that if, <gasps> if we, uh, if we have, have something creative, then the, it, it will be students from all over the school. It will be uh, a lot of students that doesn't necessarily know each other. So that's very nice to have uh, the students even more together. Well, you know, I have a couple of questions about the timetable. There's on uh, there's um through the Yeah. Oh yeah. Thursday. Here the students what? can they can um, it's often if we have like assessments they they're here like tests. Oh you you oh, it's, it's, oh, right. That's oh, the right. only like, like yes. during the week, there if yeah. there is a written test in school, yeah, like, or, 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 it's on yeah. Thursdays. Yeah. But what we do in we can talk about that now. <laughs> yeah, uh, we have uh, we don't have grades now. We mm -hmm. we ended that last year, um, and we have to give the students grades in, in the subjects uh, for uh, January and for uh, June, but we don't do it during. Uh, regular, uh, no. Yeah. So when we have these assessments, they don't get a grade and they can also choose what they want to do. So for example, in, in French, uh, they can choose to have an oral uh, conversation with me. Mm -hmm. They can choose to have a written um, test or they can make yeah, a movie or they can make a poster. They can do whatever they want. So, so in all sure. subjects, we try to give them the possibility to do what they, they want. Can, they to can do. choose the kind of assessment. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Because um, when I do marketing, yeah. I know we were we having a common subject, of course. But I usually then just give them the problem, and they can they also always have to you know look at, look out you know. But then they can pick maybe the, their the company. It's, then they don't have to do the same. You know, they go out, they find yeah. the company, they take this problem and you know and transform it here and see okay how do they do it there. Yeah. So it's really all different yeah. uh, things, but it's within the same theme. So then some people then maybe write me something. Somebody maybe like you know yeah. are a group video making something. Yeah. You know, so it's different, but it's yeah. the same. So how do you thing. assess it as a teacher, mm -hmm. right? All those different kind of products. Yeah, it's it's it's, uh, it's difficult. That's a criteria. Right? Yeah. It is. 
but we have very yeah. specific criteria that we often also make with the with the students so they know what, what they are being assessed on yeah. so often we have we give them uh, some feedback on where they they are often we can divide it into like uh, we don't, we don't say to them, it's like if you think low, middle and high, Yeah. we don't use those words, but they learn, you know, if I just, if I just use theory, with, with no, but if I don't manage to actually see the world around me, I just reproduce, you know, that's, that's kind of low level, if you don't manage to connect it to the real world. Yeah. Yeah, next I, I, level is maybe yeah. you know the next level. So yeah. we have this assessment cr yeah. criteria. Yeah. So and it it, it all worked out fine. And we, we will always talk with the students before like giving them the grade so that they. And and, and when you see a student who that is, uh, well, tends to uh, write everything down, uh, I, I guess you suggest uh, okay try try different kind yeah, of assessment. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. And that was really a big change when we went from the grade. To no grade because a lot of the students they they played it safe they were like, okay but I'm going to do it in written because mm -hmm. then if I always yeah. get the highest grade you have to push them out of the yeah, comfort zone right it's like, ah, it's nothing I can do it you know. and, and what about um, uh, at the end of uh, in the afternoon you yeah. there's a uh, like you uh, yeah. slip this you slide yeah no? uh, you meet again with your mentor. You, oh, you meet again with your mentor yeah. uh, and you check your, your learning goals or something. And well, it, well, we're supposed to, but then they're so yeah. eager to go. But we ask them, you know, how was your day? <laughs> oh, yeah, Is there yeah. anything? We don't, you know, we don't put anything uh, upon them that when we ask if everything is everything. And if somebody has something, you know, that students stay behind and talk to you. Yeah. Because in public schools, when they have all these classes, if they suddenly they don't have any class after two, they can go home. But they, don't want that. they can do that here. Is yeah. it here? Um, yeah. Then if this is a student that has something every morning, but if you if you don't have this class, for example, you can't come at nine thirty. You have to come at eight <coughs> fifteen and, and start, work. Start to work. Yeah. yeah. So and the, and the Greek. Sorry, don't talk yeah. you. This one. No, you were. Yeah, yeah. The, the green it's square. Uh, yeah. Physical. Physical oh, education. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Gymnastics. Yeah. Yeah, and here we have something called Sanfis method. It's, it's like a uh, um, community meeting. Yeah, community meeting. So every every week, each um, level or class, they meet uh, to discuss. This uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's on Thursday morning. Yeah, for forty five minutes. But yeah. it's level based. Yeah. yeah so level so level. one week we have all the first graders. Mm -hmm. Next week is the second graders. So mm -hmm. each third week they yeah. have this. Yeah, and they're they're responsible, you know. Uh, they're leading it. Yeah, they're the the students writing the yeah. they're writing what's you know what, what have we talked about? Is, uh, what do you call it? Yeah. A bit Re <laughs> resume. Resume. The students have to write resume. You know what do we do? What you know? What are the goals? Are something when you want to change? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they're leading the meeting, but there's a teacher there yeah. with them. But yeah. we have like more a passive role. And what is the object? Uh, just to for the students to uh, affect, you know, have a voice. And since we don't have, cl we don't have everyone in the first grade, they don't necessarily they're not in the same group. So they get to meet each other, everyone, and they can discuss. Do we want to have a field trip, or hmm. do okay. we want to uh, ask for uh, free food? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah. Bigger sofa. Is there something? Is there something we need to complain about? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And so they will bring the agenda, or they have some steps which have. Yeah, we have up. some, but the, those are very open. So we have like um, they have to they have to say something that's been that's good mm -hmm. uh, that's been good the last week. They have to say something that's been challenging the last mm -hmm. week. They have to thank someone, mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, and it's like also like information. Yeah, from the teachers. Yeah, we all when we have the meeting in Wednesdays, we always you know what is okay. what is more yeah. important for yeah. us yeah. to bring up the community yeah. meeting yeah. with this level now. So we always prepare, but it's also a lot of time for them so they can have a role and have and, a say. And how many of students leave this community meeting? It goes on. Uh, it's an uh, it's like a it's it's three persons. Three, okay. Yeah, and it's th three new person every yeah. time, so mm -hmm. it's not the same. Yeah, okay. but we also have like every Monday here. 
Nein, dann kommt man dann so gebannt, dann sind die Nein, because we also have like students who uh, student council meeting, council meeting with the principal. Mm -hmm. So from each level, there's students meeting with the principal every Monday. Yeah, here. Yeah. Every Monday, once a week, they and, have a meeting. And they talk about the school. Uh, the school the and you know, yeah. Yeah. then it's just a small group of students, yeah. so they represent yeah. the rest every week. Yeah. Like a lunch and learn. Uh, yeah. 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 And I, I really like how you. Um, uh, you, you create those huge amounts of working time yeah. in your timetable, but not always on the same uh, uh, time, mm -hmm. but, but also sometimes in the morning, sometimes in the afternoon, sometimes both. Mm -hmm. And in my school we tried that in the morning and in the afternoon, mm -hmm. but, uh, but we, never, never uh, varied in there. Yeah. So mm -hmm. th that really got me thinking. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, kind yeah. of, it's kind of random where it, where it is. For each student because they are in different groups. We yeah, can show sure. them the, the oh, original yeah. sample. Oh, yeah. Well, it depends. Uh, since I do marketing and that's like a program, uh, if, if my group was smaller, it would just be one group, like it's each level. Small. It's a program so, like like a, a, a module. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, they choose. And they choose uh, the line marketing. For Maybe for the whole. Do it yet, but we have some students from there that often go. It's, that's how, yeah. but not very much yet. But that's that's the plan. We also plan our goals. Yeah. Now in <laughs> some years, is that you know to to really you know mold. How can I say yeah. you know from their really young yeah. and, you know. To but we started in the in the wrong end. Yeah. We high school, <laughs> and then we we <laughs> made more like I think yeah. it's smart, actually because everybody else is starting from preschool yeah. and working their way up. So if you guys start in the upper uh, or I'm sorry in the. Um, 15 to 18 year yeah. age range, and you can get a good solid yeah. program going yeah. for this. You could work together with the yeah. schools who already have the preschool and middle school. Yeah. Or preschool and middle school. Yeah. yeah. It's very important for us because we, we as a teacher, we, well, we guide or guides. Yes. We don't, we don't yes. need, like to but call we ourselves what? teachers, well, guides. We really think it's important to keep, in, you know, keep close to Montserrat because it's easy to forget mm -hmm. since yeah. our students, they're not Montserrat children. Mm -hmm. But in, you know, in the, you know, you have to look, look like really in the long distance. It's got to be, you know, because the school is there, the elementary school is there and it's got to be, but we just need to stay focused and yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's a normal. Yeah, uh, just to see like, uh, this is, this is my plan, <laughs> these are my seminars, <laughs> but as you can see there are like different kind of structures. This is, this is the first uh, level, second level, third level, and here the students can see who, which teacher is the guide. So I think this is not really done because it's not all of, not really covered, but here they can see, so when they plan their week, they can see Teachers and you as a guide, the yeah. same timetable every week or it's never? Yeah. You have the same? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Sorry, maybe you answered this already. Yeah. But are you private or are you public school? Or mm -hmm. a mixture of both? You're we get funded okay. 80 from, like 85% by the state. Uh -huh. And we have also that uh, fee for the students. Yeah. Okay. But it's private. Okay. Because I think a lot of schools in different countries, they have the challenge of um, not grading children in Montessori yeah. and then doing formal assessments as yeah. they're going into high school or gymnasium, yeah. I guess called in Czech. And it's cool that you guys have a way kind of around that a little bit. Yeah. So you do, do grades only twice a year, yeah. but yet you're still able to get the formal assessment. Yeah. And I guess the way that you all do that is, just from listening to you all speak now, is that each teacher gives the grades for like if you're teaching marketing then you're responsible only for your group of marketing yeah and so, and then you all combine everything that you have and then you give them a formal assessment at the end yeah, yeah. which works for the, the state yeah yeah uh-huh yeah okay hmm. that's, that's a good answer <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> no, trying to piece it together <laughs> yeah. because this is what we're missing is like oh, yeah yeah, yeah. We cannot. We can send out the presentation too because we have a lot of yeah. different things on it. So we can. Yeah. It, but I, it's a bit confusing because you see that here. You know, it's both French, German, Spanish is here. You know, so it depends what you have. Your your timetable will look different. But this is like the first grade, second grade, and third grade. And thing is like going at the same time, and you just go to your class. You have all the teachers, right? All the teachers are there. 
Yeah. Right. yeah. No, I don't think since this is Monday, I'm not here because I'm not Monday. <laughs> <laughs> no, so for Monday. Yeah. Monday. We have a different, uh, different <laughs> day. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it, this is like your timetable <laughs> program. Yeah. Yeah. This is where you make your. It's in Excel. Yeah. 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 But yeah. My, we. <laughs> I'm, I'm really blown away because. Uh, at my school, we have um, uh, uh, we have, we have a person who makes the all the timetables for everyone, and he have, has a the big kind of software, very uh, difficult. Oh, we just and, use Excel. Um, but, but the person making and you make it, you make yeah, it look so easy. easy. Yeah, but but he makes it look so difficult. <laughs> <laughs> so, we, 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 but else, else yeah, well, we you? yeah we have eight hundred students. Yeah, eight hundred and twenty. <laughs> But still, with 120, yeah. me and Han Maria, we made this plan. We used like two, three weeks to like get it all together. Yeah, but then the yeah. subject doesn't yeah. crash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. because yeah. we have Camilla, it doesn't work on one day. But you, but you have a lot of coding <laughs> behind this. Uh, 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 no, there's no coding. No, there's no coding. It's no. just. Mm-hmm. All right. It's made fine. Yeah. 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 But cool. I, I will guess it would maybe your person needs. A software when it's 800 students. So, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I guess. and then uh, <laughs> five different kind of levels. No, more eight kind of different yeah. kind of levels. Yeah. Uh, all kind of ages. Yeah. 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 So maybe you can split yeah. up in the different parts or different way, like uh, maybe a small school. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to simplify things. Yeah. You should go back and just give him a black Excel. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's yeah, go. and post it. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, what What you have shown us. This is. So the plan, the schedule for the ordinary week. So. Yeah. But uh, I, I mean, pedagogic lives also from so these exceptional times yeah, and the sort of projects and so on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how many of these maybe project weeks or so do you have within one semester or within one school year? Yeah. So where you can do very other things, things, making trips, uh, mm-hmm. language trips to London or something else. So yeah, we have different. We have one yeah. one week when we have these language trips yes. uh, where we go to they go to the to the country well, a lot of students go to the country like my I take my friends to France and yeah. uh, but we also have different weeks where they I think we have five weeks and this is also the language trips uh, take place for, for all the students in the same week then or? yeah yeah so it's in week okay. 38 every year nine. Yeah. Th- 39 yeah. Yeah. last week yeah <laughs> 39 every year they go to uh, their Third yeah. language, well, the, the chosen language, the third, yeah, oh. yeah. not England, you know. And then we have some trips, like like the English class has gone to, to Oxford yeah. and the, the physics class has gone to San, San? in, in uh, Switzerland. Yeah, we also yeah. have, after school, yeah. 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 we also yeah. have these weeks where we just throw this away. <laughs> And we have project weeks, mm-hmm. like uh, um, um, culture, yeah, sustainability, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, plastic mm-hmm. work, and it's five project per year. Yeah, in first the first year they yeah. have quite a lot. Yeah, they have five, five, but in second five, and five weeks, yeah. five weeks. Complete weeks, also. Yeah. complete weeks, also, complete weeks, yeah, yeah. here and there, reserved for these projects. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. But in second and third, it's so much harder yeah. because they choose different they choose places. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, of course. Yeah. so then we have two, yeah. <laughs> because it's so much work to figure out how to make a project with the, so many yeah. 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 But then we decide instead of doing like a theme, we do one project which is like depth. You know, you can choose something to dive into. You know, yeah. so it doesn't matter what you have, but you know that's the week you really want to dive. Yeah. So we, because you can't really get a theme. It, it doesn't. It doesn't fit the curriculum to all the different subjects. Okay. <laughs> uh, when when you are in the in the in your office and the students, what, you say that all, all the all the guys are in the same place and they can go there and ask questions for you. If um, if all of you are in the same place where the students go to ask you questions, you don't have a specific place to go with them because I can imagine if. Uh, 
Then the students go to different yeah. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. If it's just a short question, you know, it's okay to be in there. Yeah. But if you're going to guide them, yeah. go yeah. into the workspace. Yeah. Yeah. You have different in, at yeah. the school. You have different yeah. small places. Yeah, we have like small smaller rooms. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And often, it's, if it's uh, if it's uh, large larger questions, we can also say, oh, but I have my guiding time. Uh, in one hour, can we do it then? Like we try to, because we really want the students to to plan according to this, because so that we can we can help them when we when we are guides, because sometimes we we have to work too. <laughs> but we always answer the questions we do. But uh, yeah, and we also have rooms that are you know when our windows, you know, if there are personal questions, you can you know can bring you know sofas there, you know, so they can yeah yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. And um, is this something you you? Are willing to share? Of course. Yeah. yeah. We want you know to, and we want you to come visit. <laughs> yeah. 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 So they, they like common, uh, like for example here, yeah. there's no common. Hear me, Blackton. They yeah. all the people, but it's, since it's such a big group, they have to go to that That's one cool. or yeah. another one during, during the week. So yeah. some students have Norwegian there. Yeah, and others some. Other but you know, it, yeah. all these ones are programs that you know they choose. Yeah. So if a student have uh, that one and that one. But she can't have that one and that one because they are crashing. But but that's the that, no, but that's not really because they can choose that one and that one. Yeah, but, but, since, but since we have done this, it means no no one has. Yeah. So that's a problem when we're making this because okay. we give the students all choices. So wow. yeah, they can choose uh, different uh, all different kind of subjects. But when we get their choices, we make this according to this. So, so there is no one having yeah. okay. this this. The subject and this subject, for example. Yeah. They do have to take two from the same direction, mm -hmm. in a way. Yeah, they have to choose direction. Yeah. yeah. So it's not like totally free. Yeah. 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 So each Monday morning, they they uh, they plan as I have done here. <laughs> so they they mark it like here. Yeah. They can mark what they have to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so Study time in Basel. Are new for teachers effective, right? Where teachers are. Hmm? Is this? The teachers students also get this one. Okay. So yeah. They already. Okay. They just have it. They from the school. You show. Yeah, yeah. We just made it. That's the, That's that their own for the. Their own. Because they Personal have to. Yeah. They have to make their own each yes. Monday. They have to make their own. But they can use this. They can do it how they want. Yes. Okay. Yeah. We don't make it for them. Okay. They get this so one. So they get this information. And they then they have to computer. find out, okay, how is my tank table? Mm -hmm. Okay, I have uh, physics here, you're all physical, and then I have math, and then I have to, well, that's a, uh, so they make their art, because okay. that's the first year. And then you have to go to the next day, that's the first mm -hmm. year. And, um, so they have to make it own. I have a, a t totally different question, uh, because um, uh, I really wonder about this is a fantastic uh, timetable, and. But how do you get students to behave in the way uh, they take responsibility, plan ahead, all those uh, skills they need? Yeah, uh, well, it yeah. depends. We, when they come to us, we have all the students in, in this first grade, we have them in one room. Mm -hmm. uh, we call it the cage. <laughs> <laughs> so we have it in this room. It's not so much freedom in the beginning. No, <laughs> so you train them and you... Yeah, we try, you know, you don't, we don't, we don't, we don't as you said, we you know, release That's the it. bird in the desert yeah. Yeah. and yeah. said fly, we don't do that. So, so we have, and as you can see, this is, the, the, the cage is, is called Fröspire. <laughs> as you can see, it's always a teacher in this room. So we, we are really beside them all the time to Focus to like yeah, yeah teach them how to do it and some students adapt to it very fast and other ones they 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 have to have to fall they have to hit the wall uh, during this mm -hmm. time now yeah. so uh, so they will see if they don't work they don't get very the wise you know, yeah. getting stressed getting bad yeah results mm -hmm. you know? and we talk to them all the time so 
but of course there are some students that doesn't adapt to it and we have also students that we we, we say that we talk to even the parents mm -hmm. saying is this the, the right method yeah. for you mm -hmm. because some of the students they, they really need to yeah. go to class yeah, all the time <laughs> but, and, and yeah. what, what about what's your dropout rate uh, about zero yeah oh. All, all, we don't, everybody is yeah. true. Yeah, them. this year we had 100%. Yeah. 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 Thank you. And the average cool. in, in, in Norway, I think it was 80, 87. And, and what about um, support at home? Because I, uh, students got, um, uh, students learn in school, but, but also a lot outside of school. Outside of school learning. So, how about yeah, the like the relationship support, be, between yeah. family and like home yeah. and school. Mm -hmm. We do have a lot of meet, like info, information meetings. Yeah. With parents. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We are also, yeah. like me as a mentor, I have uh, talks with my student and their parents. And we also have um, this, uh, we call it like teacher speed dating. So yeah. they can yeah. they can sign yeah. up for. Yeah, and have 10 minutes mm -hmm. talk. Yeah. And, yeah. 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 I think it's yeah. quite like normal yeah. Yeah. connection with them, yeah. And how do you introduce like your uh, vision or how you introduce these to the parents that they understand the system? Because I think it's important that yeah. they understand yeah. that we invite yeah. them they really believe before. that it's a yeah. good idea yeah. to make it yeah, we, talk, we have a presentation about, about Montessori mm -hmm. uh, and we often do that on all the meetings. So the parents, they, they get it like once every half Every six months, they yeah. they get information. They get the information, and they know what they apply to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because in the information meetings before they apply, you know, we have like a that's a lot of information, mm -hmm. and you know, no no grades, you know, all the things mm -hmm. that you know when you start up in first grade, you go on a trip to get to know. We're taking the kids to mm -hmm. somewhere. Like yeah, and they have to organize everything. They have to you know plan and buy all the food, and then the group really settle mm -hmm. and get to know each other, and we do all this. Uh, you know, funny games which they think are really, really <laughs> well. Some of them really like it, and others, you know, they think it's so horrible. But it, <laughs> even the, you know, it's good for the group, and it's good, you know, too. So and, and the games are organized by you or by the students? Both. Yeah. But this year we had yoga. It was a uh, a boy. Yeah. We never thought we'd do it. We had yoga with all these new okay. students. Yeah. It was very good. And they had uh, had a singing competition. Yeah, we had like a, like you know take the microphone. So we were like, well, actually, we, the teacher won. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no fear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's good for the group. And we you know we we give them a lot of information, so they know that they apply for a very different school. And what about it? Sorry, you. <laughs> okay. yeah. um, I think it, it's supposed that um, the, stu the students they finish all the work is supposed they have to do in the time they end the school. Yeah. It's supposed that they don't have homework to do at home yeah. after that time. So some people, some do. It depends because some don't. Most of the students, they say after the first year that, oh, we have no homework, what is happening? And the parents ask, what is happening? But, uh, but some students, if they, if, if they are too social, they are focusing on their uh, relationship. Social life. Yeah, on school, at school, yeah, maybe they have to. Yeah. And we also have students that are really like working too much. Yeah. And we all tell them, you know, slow down, yeah. have fun. Yeah. Because we have those as well. Oh, yeah. uh, they work all day at school and they work all night. And uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So they have a little range. Yeah. Oh, and <coughs> what about students with um, special <coughs> educational needs? We don't have so much. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, we, we do have. have. Yeah. Yeah. But we have a social um, person. Social uh, teacher? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Care special of special yeah. guide. And we also yeah. have other resources such as uh, like health. Uh, <coughs> We're connected to the state, so we, you know, if, if we tell mm -hmm. them, we get all the same uh, benefits that yeah. uh, than uh, public schools. You're mm -hmm. following the same system as the state. So yeah. The state yeah. is providing something to the public. But so that's the health also, uh, health yeah. part. So that's mm -hmm. the same as uh, public. And I asked, did both of you attend traditional Norwegian schools? Yeah. Yeah. And how would you say that the students from your school is their level of motivation higher? than what you experienced oh, while yeah. you were in high school, or how, how is it different? Like, what is the overall feel yeah. of, of 
the students' level of motivation in your school? I think maybe are, are they more driven or I feel I, I, I feel that they are more driven because well, I I was a really good student. Okay. I loved being so I still I still love you do you know study. Okay. Uh, that's maybe you know became a teacher, but. Uh, but I think uh, our students, they're all the time talking about, oh, we're so lucky we're here. I feel so sorry for the other ones who's over there. And, you know, they have, they really have a good time. You know, uh, it's not, I don't, I don't feel like mostly it's okay. It's okay to go to school. Mm -hmm. But I think they, they like it very much at school, uh, but their motivation is, is often external. And yes. we see on, on, uh, on the, uh, we do some, um, um, not tests. How do you say? Mm -hmm. Service. 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 Yes. Yeah. yeah. And we uh, we ask them, and and, and uh, over the last two years, they have answered that they, they don't really see the point of learning what they are learning. So that's what we have yeah. to work on. That's what we work with. That's our yeah. yeah. So so as here are some <laughs> numbers. Um, we are like compared to the national numbers, we are on average for motivation, will be a mastery, but we are above average for these questions. So if you see this goes up to five, and HB that's our school, head by, and national that's for the national. So um, so this is some of the results that we can we can. And this is of course not our test. It's like the government. Yeah. So yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, and this is for objective point of view. Mm -hmm. This is for like um, for the schools. How many are um, uh, ex uh, out? Uh, you say something? Yeah, like well, average uh, implementation. Yeah. implementation sort of. Like average after five years, but this year we had hundred percent. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 And how you like record some? or not some, how you record the, like, the individual growth or how you track that the student is on the right way or how you help them to decide if they are like social work or nature work? Is there any like kind of interview? What is the best for you or yeah, for you? We have, we have, as mentors, we have, we have talks with the students, but we also, uh, they also talk to their, their teacher. We have yeah. like, subject uh, <laughs> conversations mm -hmm. and like mentor conversations so we we are uh, we are obliged to talk to the students about these things mm -hmm. at least every six months but yeah we, present, we all often talk to them we present the subject yeah. for the well, when they're in the first grade we present the subject for the teacher and the students mm -hmm. what can you choose between and I also you know since I have those these like programs I introduce the subjects for the before they're going to choose Mm -hmm. So that they can come to me and ask. Do you have a, like a digital system for that to support those the, those feedback talks and those grades? And There's something called Canvas. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's like a platform. Oh, I, think Canvas, from, yeah. I think every teacher have their own system, but we have to record it. We have to yeah. to write something. But but I think. And is it, is it, it's also a, a, like a, um, a digital portfolio yeah. where they where students can. Um, uh, place work uh, yeah, yeah. where the proud That's the yeah. yeah, I don't know if it exists at all. Uh, yeah, we have. I think it's from the states actually. It's yeah. Combus. Yeah, C A as with a C. Combus. Yeah, campus. Campus. Yeah. Like campus from uh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. where everything but, is. Yeah. Every, yeah. Yeah. So it's a learning platform. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 And teachers are uh, now. Uh, the parents can also view uh, that campus. Yeah, as long as the ah, uh, not yet. We are oh. we are we are working. Oh. No, we are working on a possibility for the the, the parents to have access. Mm -hmm. An account, so we can. Uh, yeah. yeah, but after they're eighteen, they they can't see. They don't have the right to see that anyways. Yeah. But uh, but we're working on a system. So yeah, but I know a lot of students. You know, they just use their password and the and the, yeah. and the parents yeah. have a look. You know, because mm -hmm. they enter with their password as students. And the parents just yeah. have, a, you know, they don't need a known password to get in. Mm. Usually, a lot of our students, you know, have an open relationship <coughs> with their parents. So they just ask, you know, what's your password? Can I have a look at your... At your grades or your progress. Yeah. yeah. yeah well, and they also have to yeah. sign. You know, we send home mm -hmm. every, like, January and June, we send home the grades. And they have this, you know, so they, of course, they see the grades. 
And if they all call right. it and yeah. ask, if they, of course, we give them all the information they want to have before they're 18. After they're 18, they have to sign this letter. Mm -hmm. And if they sign, we could still tell parents. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there any kind of like volunteering of service learning for students? Did they help someone else by volunteering? They can do in the helper project time. Mm -hmm. So that's why we have actually, you know, they, yeah. So they can do volunteering, they can do, uh, you know, participating things like that. Uh, and they will also use work cycle time mm -hmm. uh, if they want to do that. As long as they have a plan, you know, as long as they have some a goal with it. And we give them some suggestions, some information, but it has to be there. Initiative. Mm -hmm. yeah. We were actually supposed to, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we, we can just give it to you. They can take it like this one. We yeah. have yeah, five minutes. Yeah. So I think but they can take this home and just mm -hmm. think about it. We were supposed to have this exercise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was supposed, supposed to start with an individual reflection. Yeah. You know, what do we no. do now in yeah. no, high school? Individual, no, not individual reflection, individual brainstorm. Yeah, individual brainstorm. Oh, so, individual first. Brainstorm. So you have to, you have to trim it down. Yep. That's the first. We don't have the time for it. Let's take a little reflection that yeah. we can do yeah. and so take home with you. <laughs> so that was the thing that you were supposed to brainstorm, and then you know, okay, what can we? And then yeah. But I guess we did it anyway, you know, since yeah. we're such a small group. Yeah. yeah. I think it's good to have these conversations. Can I give you my email address? Oh, yes, for the yeah, we can give you uh, uh, and anybody can put down their yeah. name. If everyone write their email, I can send the email uh, okay. yeah. of yeah. our contact yeah. information. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just we could just write it here, everybody, on this one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We can, uh, uh, and we also brought some materials from the because we also give yeah. materials, so we brought some materials from the oh. teachers and from the classes. So we could look at it if you want. <laughs> and just ask this question: We're here. Yeah. Uh, we leave tomorrow morning, but we're here all day on the dinner and everything. So yeah. If you have some questions, just ask. Us. Yeah. Material is, is you are creating your own material. Yes. Yeah. 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 Just yeah. homemade. Yeah. yeah. Um, have you have you talked on the mentoring? That you say that you have to make a a big effort in the first year for they have to do the planning and everything yeah. that the eldest students to help the first year ones for the planning because yeah. if they have for the event. Yeah, yeah. I, I think well, the planning is usually the mentor, but we do. Uh, we've tried to, you know, if, if I have uh, uh, guidance, I'm in the room, and there's somebody who 